This screencast will walk you through how to use After Effects to create a spotlight effect. This is real handy when you want to bring emphasis to one particular part of your screencast. So we've got some footage down here in the uh, comp window. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and create a new layer. Walk over, adjustment layer. And I will right away in that adjustment layer generate a fill for it. So we're going to come over here, generate fill. And let's change the color here to some black. And then I'm going to twizzle down the adjustment layer. And we're just going to reduce the opacity of that layer down to maybe about 85 or so. So the next thing that we want to do is we actually want to create a mask. So come again back up to our layers menu, choose mask new mask and you can see this is sort of confusing right here because it looks like well that mask isn't doing anything it's just it's just uh, masking the entire area so what do I have to do create another mask uh, nope pretty simple let's pop into our mask view here and let's actually choose to invert it and now I'm gonna come back over into stage I'm gonna double click on the corner of that mask so I can I can modify it and we'll just choose to highlight an area and you see when you invert it it uh, it only gives you shows you the area the, that you're masking here let's just toggle invert it off you can see the difference okay so the next thing to do is we want to kind of make this a little bit more graceful so we're going to come into our our mask path and click on the uh, shape options here and let's say we wanted to make this into an ellipsis instead of a rectangle. We'll say okay. And maybe maybe we'll move that around a little bit. Okay. Now, uh, just a little bit of detail work. Let's make this mask look a little bit more like a spotlight. We'll feather it a little bit. And I'm just going to double click here off on the screen. You can see right there I've got this real nice spotlight effect uh, happening. Now, again, with my adjustment layer, I can fade this adjustment layer in, do all the things you can do in After Effects. Um, but it's real, real simple to uh, create a mask, animate the mask, um, do those type of things.